Hello everyone, my name is Rahul and welcome to my channel Rahul QA Labs. So in today's tutorial, we will be learning how we can add a test plan in test loss tool. Okay, so before uh, uh, seeing how we can add, let's see what is a test plan. So in general terms, a test plan is a document that tells you about the objectives of your project. Uh, what are the resources that will be uh, requiring in your project? What are the time? What is the time deadlines? What are the dependencies on your project? Uh, what are the pace, uh, pass and fail criteria uh, for the test cases uh, in your project? And the processes for a specific test uh, pertaining to a software or a hardware product. So basically, test plan tells you what you have to test, when you have to test, how you have to test, and who all uh, stakeholders will be involved in testing or who all people will be involved in testing. Okay. Okay. So um, uh, like as per uh, the test lodge, you can create uh, the test plan from starting like from scratch or otherwise you can use the test lodge templates as well. So to show you guys uh, a sample test plan as per the IEEE 829 standards, uh, let me show you. Okay, so uh, this is how a test plan looks like and it has various components. So a test plan identifier, uh, what are the references that you uh, are using? Uh, a small introduction about the project and what are the test items? What features you will be testing uh, uh, through this? Uh, scope and in scope uh, items? What will be the approach and pass fail criteria for uh, the test cases? suspension criteria and uh, the test deliverables what are the tasks uh, assigned to a testing team what will be the environment in you will be uh, testing particular application or the object what are the responsibilities of each of the person like test manager or the test person and training needs okay next one we have the risks and contingencies like what uh, risk uh, may be uh, possible if uh, this particular project is not complete on time and what is the mediation plan what all approvals you will be needing okay so this is just a sample template uh, that you can find on Google as well so let us see how we can add a test plan in test lodge let us log in into the application okay so this is our project we have added. Let's go to that project. Now this is the dashboard. Now we have to add the test plan. So you all can see this is a green button is available test plan create. We will click on this particular link. Okay, so this project as of now does not have any test plans. So we need to create one test plan. Now this tells you like a test plan can be used to record the overall testing strategy and is where you can outline the objectives and scope of testing. Okay, so as I told you before, like what is a test plan? What are the objectives? Uh, what are the deliverables, the tasks, uh, the team, etc. Let's create a test plan. Click on this green button, new test plan. Uh, give the name of your test plan. Retail application test plan version one suppose this is the name that you have given uh, now you have to select the type of template as I said uh, test lodge offers you uh, two types one will be a blank test plan you can create from scratch or you can uh, use a template that is provided by them so as of now we will use a template suggested uh, test plan structure that will be created by the test lodge itself Let's click on add test plan. Okay. So uh, this is your uh, test plan. Test plan was uh, successfully created. That is the name uh, of the test plan showing here. These are all the details associated. It is created on 18th of October and last updated on 18th of October. So this is uh, the default template uh, that test laws ha has generated for you. And uh, these are all the titles available like introduction. What are the test items? What features uh, you will be testing and uh, features will not be tested. 
okay so one by one you can go to each of uh, the sections and you can add okay so uh, these are all uh, the options available options means uh, the default template that Teslas has uh, generated so let us see how we can add uh, details into these sections for example if I want to add something into introduction so on the right hand side there are three dots available if you click on this there will be two options available edit and delete so if you want to delete this section you can delete the section otherwise if you want to edit this section let's click on edit okay so this is the title uh, this, this will be the content what you want to add into the introduction so for example So this project deals with the testing of retail website and you can give uh, different points as per your requirement now after giving this uh, as soon as you click on save changes okay so see the changes are saved last saved name will be highlighted here when it is updated on 18th of October 2020 and uh, yes so this is how we can edit the sections in a test plan so all these sections you can go one by one you can click here you can click on edit or if you don't want that particular section you can even delete that section as well if you want to add any other section here is a button called new content area you just click on the new content area you can give uh, a title suppose uh, risks associated test risks click on add content area so see new content area has been added or a new topic has been added and uh, if you want to edit it again you can go here click on edit the same uh, it will be expanded click on save changes and it will be saved so this is how we can create a test plan uh, in test lodge and we can edit each of the sections i hope this is all uh, clear to you all and if you have any doubts you can put your comments and i'll be happy to help you thank you very much for watching my video and if you like the video uh, do subscribe my channel for uh, more content on software testing side so we'll meet in the next uh, tutorial till then bye bye take care thank you